So should we get on to why it has not been nerfed here yet? Yeah, why not? Oh, there we go. Um, apparently, uh, pursuits from Choice Band Heracross, Adamant Choice Band Heracross, on absolutely max defense jellicent would do a maximum of 73.76% damage. Weak. Exactly. Well, with Just stealth rockets and spikes, you got a chance. You'd need at least two layers of spikes, so. Yeah. So, guys, <laughs> why hasn't grain been nerfed here? Well, first we had this uh, little thing called the Kingdra vote. <coughs> <laughs> which, uh... This is all Coco Coco's there. fault. He, he ruined it. I did not ruin it. <laughs> yes, you did. It was going to be banned, and then he posted in the thread with all his Coco logic, which uh, kind of flipped the ban around. Would you like to explain your logic? Because I don't think it's logic. I think it's insanity. All right. Basically, I don't think Kingdra is the only broken thing in Rain. I think things like Ludicolo, Kabutops, Starmie, Thunderous, to an extent Dragonite and Tornadus, all become... Very close to being broken in rain, which pretty much leads me to believe that it's not Kingdra that's the problem, it's just Drizzle as a whole. You can also, you also have some evidence from this by playing the Smogon metagame. The fact that Gastrodon is used so much over there means that rain is still extremely overpowering, because I mean, let's be honest, who would use Gastrodon if rain wasn't that strong? So... Yeah, to me, rain as a whole is the problem, and I felt that if the Kingdra vote happened, the then OU leaders would be like, no, we're not going to have another vote, we already nerfed rain. So I felt that the best way to proceed was to kind of boycott the Kingdra vote and tell everybody not to vote ban, which worked, because I think it was 63% no ban to... 30 whatever percent ban. So yeah, people followed my Coco logic. Remember, Coco logic doesn't work. But it does. It's <laughs> loco. Coco logic is loco. Yeah, I, I th- kind of think of it differently because the reason that I have really been like pushing for a, either a swift swim ban or just a ban of abusers until rain isn't that is broken as much is because really um, I don't find that Polytoad is the problem and that Rain itself is a problem. I find the problem to be just those few completely overpowering abusers like Kingdra, like Ludicolo, and like Thunderous who really make Rain broken for everything else because it, like, when I play the Smoke Gun metagame, I see that, in my opinion, Rain isn't really that overpowering. It's just Thunderous that's really overpowering. And then it can really um, help to like kind of balance. I would, I guess, balance the metagame out because it helps check sand, it helps check sun, and without um, rain around, there's a potential that the the other two could be pretty overpowering. I guess. Well, see the difference between you and me. I also think X control should be banned, not because it's blatantly broken, because it isn't. It has a sufficient amount of counters. But the fact is, it's not enough, so you are very limited when it comes to team building. You almost have to include a glitch score in your team, otherwise you're going to suffer every time Excadrill actually gets a switch in. So, without Excadrill around, I feel as if Sand would be nerfed enough that it wouldn't completely dominate the metagame if Rain was gone. Sun is a completely different story, since almost nobody uses it. We can't really tell. I'd just like to comment and say that Sun, if you actually face it, and you're not prepared at all, it will utterly destroy you. If I even had a team that was based around countering Sun, and there was, I think I 
failed to counter something like Morning Sun Volcarona, I believe it was. And it just tore me apart completely. And I'm slightly embarrassed about that, to be honest. <laughs> well, part of the problem with Sun is that we haven't banned Blaziken yet. Well, for yeah. For some reason or another. Another failed vote. Yeah, what a surprise. I mean, then it drops to UU. Yeah, you guys are honestly retarded. Like, who <laughs> let Blaziken drop into UU? I don't know how the hell that happened. I had to borderline it as soon as it dropped down, otherwise UU would have been crap for two months. Only because I was showing you how broken it was before. <laughs> um, yeah, right. <laughs> Jesus Christ. People are freaking stupid. Anyways. No, seriously, though, I think part of the reason as to why nothing's been done to nerf the metagame at all is due to the previous leadership. And I don't mean to disrespect anyone who was leading the tier back at the moment, but we haven't had any progress at all since, I think it was in November the 23rd or something, when Manaphy was banned. And that, to me, is just ridiculously stupid, because that's nine months without any progress whatsoever. Outside of Garchomp. Outside of Garchomp, of course. But it's, it's just, I don't understand how no progress can be made in that time. Is this metagame balanced? Almost anyone that you ask will tell you no. Well, there there is a survey somewhere in fifth gen discussion which you can actually get that data from. Nobody, I, no, I, I think maybe like two people out of like sixty something that took the survey said that the metagame was all right. I think I remember counting it, and it was something like four or five people. Yeah, it was, it's just stupid the lack of progress that's been made, and I think. Part of it was to do with previous leadership. Again, no disrespect intended. Um, part of it was also to do with the um, previous voting system and such. As we've already proven, it gave far too much rating to the lower-ranked people who had, to be fair, very little knowledge of the metagame. I want to interject right there. Yeah, go ahead. With the old method, Polytoad wasn't banned. But then when we, we switched the formula around, giving a lot more weight to higher rated players, if we used that formula in the Polytoad vote, it would have been banned. So, yeah, Polytoad is overpowered, not Kingdra. That is all. More interestingly than Polytoad being banned was that Kingdra, Kingdra's vote was even more towards no ban using the new formula that allowed the better players more ranking at all. Which is just... I think that, that was rather eye-opening, really. And it showed that people higher up the ladder didn't think that Kingdra was banned. Or at least banworthy, sorry. Yeah. But then we comment on things such as Blaziken dropping to UU, which I think was utterly silly. But I think that the key reason for that was that there were Pokemon such as Kingdra and Ludicolo who are still in the metagame, that do check Blaziken. And I think, also, as part of the topic we were on, that people playing PO metagame have been playing Smog on metagame too much and think that Blaziken's already banned. Same with Deoxys. Exactly. Deoxys, I think, before, before August, had something like 0.6% usage which was completely and utterly stupid, really. Yeah, I don't understand why people don't use the axes. I mean, really, not everybody must think that it's already banned. It's like, it does suffer from four moveset syndrome, but seriously, if you don't have the right Pokemon to switch to the right move, you will lose at least one Pokemon to Deoxys. The only Pokemon that can check Deoxys reliably is really especially defensive Jirachi. And even then, you might get 3 would by a random HP fire. And I think that for that reason, amongst others, I do think that it was previous leadership and um, other factors such as that which have shown that the metagame itself isn't too good and neither was the leadership. Alternatively, though, 
it could be some of the players. Yeah, I mean, you can't really blame the leadership for the players not using a specific Pokemon. I mean, that's the players' fault for not really utilizing all the tools they have. Yeah, I didn't mean to imply the lack of usage was due to leadership, though. Yeah, but, like, before I started, like, using Deoxys, and then I got uh, BR out there using Deoxys, and it kind of, like, it kind of spread from there. Like, I see it, I see it, like, I wouldn't say often, but I, I see it now, and before it was just non-existent on the ladder. So I guess it's ha- it has a little bit of improvement, but it's still way below what the kind of usage it should be getting. Honestly, it should be getting close to 50% usage because it's just yeah. that good. It doesn't matter what you're running, you can fit the Oxus in your team and it will pull its weight. You can be running hard stall and it will still pull its weight. <laughs> it's really that good. So use it, people, and then ban it. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> but again, I think the main reason as to why Deoxys wasn't being used so much is because of those Swift Sim users, because it can't outspeed them, and it certainly cannot take any sort of hit from them. Well, if I recall correctly, wasn't Deoxys banned before Swift Sim and Drizzle on Smogon? Yeah, it was. Um, it was like... They banned Deoxys um, A and Deoxys N at the same time. They didn't even bother texi- testing Deoxys N. They just um, banned them both at the same time, which I don't really think that was the best decision because it hadn't been tested. But still, at the same time, through our testing at least, I have seen that it's broken. That's one one thing I did want to comment on are the people that think that every single weather is broken just because certain weathers are. And I don't understand that at all, because as we've all commented, rain probably needs nerfing to some degree. Yes? Yes. Yes. Sun, as we commented on slightly earlier, probably would be broken, especially without rain around, yes? Yeah, um, I think it would. Yeah, me too. Just because Blaziken is still around, it would be pretty ridiculous. Maybe take away Blaziken... Which, uh, you were commenting on Deoxys earlier, but Blaziken was banned after the Swift Swim users, so it didn't really get to shine until the Swift Swim users are gone, which is kind of the same situation we have here. But yeah, that might explain why it wasn't actually banned through the vote we had. Mm-hmm. And then third, Sandstorm. As Coco said earlier, if Excadrill was banned or nerfed in some way, it'd probably be a much lesser threat. Do we agree on that as well? Yeah, because then your only choice would be really Landorus or that, um... The dog. Oh, Terrakion too. The dog. I forget its name. And Sandslash, which nobody would use Sandslash. <laughs> and Stoutland. Stoutland, yeah. Um, I have no idea how I remembered that, as I have no knowledge of Gen 5 Pokemon at all. Um... <laughs> And hail, nobody in their right mind thinks that hail is broken in OU right now. Seriously. Yeah, I don't understand why people are, I, I, I see where you're coming from. Like, I don't understand why people are generalizing. Like, if rain is broken, every weather is broken. That's not how it works. Weather isn't broken because it's weather. Well, rain is broken because of its capabilities. Not just because it's a weather. So that's what I don't get about people, is how they are generalising all weathers together. And I do think that whilst some of the weathers do require nerfing, 